Saturday morning, 6 a.m. We are rolling. We are headed to go pick up a dump trailer. I got a situation going on. I'd love to hear y'all's comments about how to deal with the situation. So this is a really cool gift that I received that Barry out of Nevada sent me. This is Midge, a world champion bow hunter. And this is a white-tailed wildebeest that she killed. And he got a autographed picture from her for me. I sure appreciate that. And that is really cool. We're going to put it up on the wall here. So here's the situation. I've had two times where there's been overages on the loads. And with the way that I price, they pay for everything up front. Of course, that is a risk that I run. In the past, he has said, you know, it's getting overloaded. Let me know what the overage is. But then I had one that was about $100, and I asked him about it. He said, I got no idea, and never mentioned anything about paying for it. So then I've got another one. He mentioned something about paying for it. We're going to bill him. And then I have a problem with coming up and the trailer having stuff all over the sides. And so I'm having to get out and basically tidy the trailer up. And that's really not part of the service that I provide. So now I'm having an issue where I'm having to work more and I can take care of the problem with the sides because I can build the trailer taller. The problem then is, is that it's not as easy for the guys to throw the stuff over the side. They like that trailer as close to the house as possible so that they can throw the shingles in there. But then that means most of the time they can't walk behind it and load it up. So then that means everything's going up and over. And the taller you build that trailer, the more work it is on them. So, we're kind of in a conundrum. So, what I think I'm going to do is send him an email, express these concerns, and ask him how can we make this better for everybody. Let me know what your comments are, what your thoughts are, and we'll just have to play it out and see how it works. I would hate to lose this person. However, with the trend that is starting to occur, it's just not going to be financially feasible for me to continue with them as a customer. You will find that if you stay in business long enough, you will end up firing a customer. I know that sounds crazy, but it does happen. And you get to a point where it's just not worth the money any longer, the aggravation, the hassle, and you really have to ask yourself, is this rewarding enough and a lot of times you're going to find out no it's not and so therefore you're going to end up having to make a choice and say well we just are not able to do business any longer and shake hands and go your separate ways i personally don't like that i don't like giving anybody any ultimatums to start with i do like trying to approach it from a empathetic standpoint as far as hey these problems are occurring I need to give you the greatest service I can at the best rate possible and this is how I do it unfortunately that's not always able to happen and now these things are starting to occur on a regular basis what do you suggest we do and let them come up with a solution because then that gives them ownership in the situation and they feel invested with it. You know, it's not an ultimatum. It's not a threat. You know, it clearly expresses, hey, I want to continue to do business with you. So I've had great results with that. But let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts. Man, I sure like that trailer hitch right there. Y'all got to get one of those for sure. Now, you all see what the problem is that I got. 
there's a whole bunch of crap on the sides I'm having to go around now this right here is something that I can do about I can attach some plywood going up you know and uh, make that easier right there it'd be nice if they would take those pallets a lot of times they'll stand them up right there and make their own gate kind of and uh, you see the excess that we got right there that puts a lot more work on me so to speak we might end up having a tire going flat right there. It's still got air in it, but there is a big load on it as well. So we'll just have to see. Stop and get some air here shortly. So y'all see what I'm talking about. And uh, it's not a good thing. And we do have to address it because if not, it's gonna keep on going. So let me know what you think and uh, we'll just have to move forward from there. All right, we're hooked, we're rolling and we're gonna see if we can't find a gas station, get some air and uh, be down at the dump when they open up. Hey, looky there now, we got us the air. We're gonna put some air in that tire right there. All right, head it off. It's a good thing to have a trailer that has a tire that's low. Lots to be grateful for. So you all have a wonderful day. I will let you know how this turns out. I'm interested to read your comments, get some tips from you all. And uh, ultimately, I need the behaviors to change and to keep the customer. Always ask yourself, what's the most favorable situation that could occur? The other thing that I need to start doing is more advertising so I can have a backup customer.